Good evening, everyone. First off, we want to thank judges and CFA Institute for giving us an opportunity to present our analysis on Ashoka Bitcoin Limited. This truly is an honor for all of us. We initiate our coverage on ABL with a buy recommendation. With 18 months target price of 190 rupees, this gives investors an upside potential of 39%. Best way to understand the, our, uh, our optimism stems from two four key factors, which is the change in infrastructure outlook in India. Second is limited number of players left with the opportunities, resources to take upon these new opportunities. And finally, strong balance sheet and favorable valuation of ABL. The best way to understand ABL ABL was incorporated in 1976 as a small highway construction contractor. From there on, it has grown to become one of the largest highway developers in India. Best way to understand the ABL's business is to split into two divisions. First is construction division, and second is build, operate, transfer division. Construction division bids and construct road projects as well as power projects. Once the construction is completed, these assets are transferred to build, operate, transfer division, which collects toll during the remaining concession period. Uh, it has a total of 21 road pro projects, in, which is highest in India. In 2011, eight of these road assets were transferred to the new subsidiary, Ashoka Concession Limited. Later in 2012, Evil strategically sold 34% of its stake to the new investment, which is SBI Macquarie, for INR 7 billion. Moving on to macroeconomic analysis. India outperformed all the uh, emerging economies in 2014, and we're confident India will do the same in 2015 as well primarily because of external factors such as reduction in uh, commodity prices and internal factors such as structural changes brought about by the new government. We found a very unique trend that whenever a growth phase of GDP comes, it is coupled with higher investment in infrastructure by government. That means the infrastructure opportunities are going to knock. We have identified four key factors which we think are pivotal for the growth of this sector. The first is the increased government focus on this sector. Despite the fact that India has the second largest road network in this world, its road density is nowhere near the world average. But we believe this is going to change. The government plan expenditure on road and power sector in the 12th five-year plan is almost three times of what was in the previous plan. Second is the National Highway Development uh, Program, which aims to connect all the major cities and ports by end of 2017. And to achieve this target, the government has to award at least 20,000 new kilometers of new road project. The third is the sustainable growth in traffic. We found a very interesting correlation that for 1% increase in GDP, traffic grows by 0.9%. Apart from that, the share of road in the freight traffic has constantly been increasing. All these factors will lead to greater toll collection by the BOT players. The fourth is the power transmission and distribution sector, which is in the growth phase right now, as government plans to reduce the transmission losses by 25%, giving the players in this industry a huge advantage. Opportunities come with challenges, and this sector is not unique. We, our research shows that 30% of the project awarded in the last four years are currently stalled, and we have identified two major factors, and that are project financing and execution incapability of the players in this sector. So let's see whether Ashoka is ready to tackle these challenges. ABL has tackled these challenges strategically. They have developed an integrated business model with with, in, with integrated business model, and they have invested in RMC, which is Ready Mix Concrete Unit. This unit provides 51% material cost and controls for, for better and gives better quality control and less external dependency. Next is their research and development into research and development into highway highway research center, and which leads to lower which leads to average time being reduced in project execution. We have seen that ABL is one of the best performers here in the industry. Next, we have the sustainable earnings that ABL has earned and is projected to earn in the next uh, couple of years. They have invested into projects in East-West Highway Corridor, which connects India's 75% 75, 75 of coal and iron ore mines to the ports. They have operational projects here, and they have sustainable earnings uh, revenues forecasted in the future. This business model translates into strong financial positions for the company. We have built a framework where we have analyzed the financial performances of the companies in the sector. Here, 
First, we have the four pillars. And the first pillar is the operational discipline, which is evident from the high EBITDA margins, high EBIT margins of the company compared to its peers. ABL has also incorporated balance sheet discipline with higher, in higher interest uh, coverage ratio and lower debt ratio. ABL also has higher PAT growth compared to its peers. All in all, ABL ranks second in the sector according to our framework. As we have seen till now that on one hand, ABL is well poised to take upon the sectorial opportunities. At the same time, on the second hand, the peers, ABL's peers have been marred by several problems in the recent years. The problem started in 2011 when they were optimistic about the economic growth and aggressively bid for the projects. But that did not happen. The effective expected results did not materialize because of the policy paralysis in the previous government. Several Financial health of several of the peers got deteriorated, as can be seen that Gammon India and Madhukon have do not as much a financial as they were in 2011. All this leads to a reduced competition. Additionally, EBL secured a committed line of investment from its previous investor, SBI Macquire, for INR 700 billion, which will be invested on project-wise basis. Recently, EBL's credit rating got upgraded, which means cheaper funds in future. All this did not happen overnight. So, it's all return of good financials at one hand, and at the same time, good corporate governance. Abel's good corporate governance makes the strongest case for investment in this company. Abel has a diverse board, with 50% of its member being independent director. Also, audit committee and three other most important committee has major contribution from independent directors. We went one step ahead and calculated corporate governance score for each of these peers based upon these four parameters recommended by International Finance Corporation. Ebel got an overall score of 74 on the scale of 100, which is by far best in the industry. Next, we'll have a look at business valuation. Favorable valuation further reinforces our buy recommendation. We have valued ABL using two different approaches, some of the parts method and relative valuation method. In SOTP method, we have valued board division using NPV method and EPC division using EV by a beta multiple. Our tall revenues projections are based on our traffic estimates being 5%, which drives volume growth, and WPI being 3%, 3 which gives price growth. Our expenses include annual and periodic maintenance expenses and tall booth expenses. This method gives us an enterprise value of $38 billion for uh, board division. Now coming to the EPC division, we have selected peers that have major revenue contribution from road and power sector. After applying a discount of 15% to the historical median value of EV by EBITDA multiple, for ABL not being a major EPC player as compared to its peers, gives us an enterprise value of 18 billion. Overall, we get a share price value of 196 rupees from this method. Our second methodology of relative valuation, we have selected peers on the basis of similar business profiles of the companies. We have, uh, we have calculated a re-rating factor for the industry considering changes in the macroeconomic scenario. At 1.83 times its price to book value gives us a share price value of 176 rupees. We have assigned 70% weightage to SOTP and 30% to relative valuation, which gives us a share price target of 190 rupees with 39% upside potential. A sensitivity analysis shows that a model is more sensitive to traffic growth than WPA. Now we'll have a look at the risk analysis. We have identified risk in three broad categories, depending on their nature, their impact, and likelihood. Strategic risk which is very specific to the business, external risk which is beyond the scope of management. ABL is a strong player in BOT and will continue its focus on BOT, but government is focusing on EPC contracts. This may lead to change in business focus in future. ABL has uh, projects in East to West Canada, but this points to the concentration risk. These type of businesses are prone to the external factors such as material cost, inflation, and regulatory framework. This points to the external risk, and 45% of the projects are stuck due to external risk. Investor always wants its investment to be uh, highly liquid, but ABL is a mid-cap stock and has lower daily trade volume. That points to the difficulty in exit. Our model may, uh, our recommendation will change from buy to sell if traffic growth estimate changes from 5% to 1%. To summarize, uh, we have strong government at the center, positive investment outlook, which makes infrastructure a lucrative opportunity. ABL is well-funded and backed by a strong management, which is passionate to take this business to the greater heights. All these factors make a strongest case for ABL to be included in your portfolio. With this, 
we reiterate our recommendation to buy. Thank you, and we'd like to open the floor.